We started with the IQ with a single purpose that can we enable education providers to go online and start teaching online. One is definitely that there wouldn't be any difference uh, as far as the students are concerned. Uh, they would look at online programs like they look at offline programs. So the, that line between online and offline is going to disappear. Second uh, trend I see is even in the online world still want to learn from real teachers. They don't want to learn just from, uh, just from content, just from videos. So real teacher involvement is going to be the second trend that I see, uh, so which is why, which is also called instructor-led learning. Uh, you know, and there, there are different terms uh, for the same concept. But that's the second uh, trend that I see. The third I can think of is that people are not going to worry about having degrees. They're going to worry about having skills. So there's going to be, I think there's going to be a separate wave of uh, measuring those skills and, uh, you know, people learning the skills rather than trying to chase a degree. Now this is going to impact a lot of things. This is going to, this is going to change the higher education industry in particular. This is uh, going to reduce the cost of education. This is going to change a lot of the strategies that people use to recruit. So this is going to disrupt the ecosystem a lot. However, I think it's going to happen. Technology is the only reason this is, uh, these trends are going to take shape. And technology is, is among us, you know, it's already here. It's only the impact uh, of technology on the industry that we're going to see in, in a while. So whether you call unbundling of education, whether, uh, whether you think of instructor-led online education, learning at home, it's all driven by technology. There's no technology uh, like with IQ, at with IQ we produce, you know, this cannot happen. So it's the whole change is driven by technology.